What does Goofy say? <laughs> it's Vlogmas Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas Vlogmas, and it's time to celebrate Vlogmas! Yay! Good morning everyone! Are you ready for the day? Very enthusiastic. Hey everybody. What are we doing today? What do you want to do today? We should do something fun. What should we do? There's Elsa. There's Elsa? Oh yeah, Elsa's in the tree right there. In the tree. In the tree. I do know one thing that we're doing today. The first thing is going to Jacob's orthodontist because he's gonna get his bands changed out. So right as we were leaving, the baby fell asleep all swaddled on Jessica, so she stayed behind. And I have the four other kids at the orthodontist appointment. So, it's gonna be a fun challenge. You doing the same colors, Jake? Ooh, is it a different setup this time? Mm-hmm. Cool. We're consolidating some anterior space. So we have a little chain across these four front teeth. Are you excited about your anterior space consolidation, Jacob? <laughs> it's either gonna be sore, of course, with that space closure. Looks good, man. Very Christmassy. Yeah. Looking good. So I offered to take the kids out Christmas shopping. One, to give Jessica a little break. And two, so that they could buy presents for Jessica because otherwise it's hard for them to do that. Bailey and Jacob were both like, oh, don't worry. I did all my shopping online. Luckily, I still have you guys. Right? Yeah, I we'll... can't find Jacob. You're shopping for Jacob? You gotta pick out a present for mommy, Duncan. Anyway, I just couldn't believe that thing. They're so advanced. I'm behind the times. I mean, I did a bunch of online shopping too, but I wasn't expecting them to do that. Aww. That's a dinosaur. Is that a Don't dinosaur? Let that dinosaur eat my my holding the hand. Okay, I won't let the dinosaur eat your hand. What about your foot? No. Okay, won't let it do that either. Not any. No. no. Don't eat the dinosaur. Eat my finger or my hand. But the foot's okay? No. What about just your nose? Can you eat no, your nose? No, no, no. What about your ear? Can you eat your ear? Oh, why'd you give it your hands? It's, um, it's all coins in there? No. No? What is this? That's... Um, That's not U.S. currency. Here, you've got... You got some quarters. I have seven of these. You got seven of those? Okay. Got another quarter. We're back home now and I'm actually just going around the property to see what the workers have done. They just finished. And I just want to make sure everything looks okay and that I didn't leave any tools here that I have to bring back to them or anything like that. But the steps are all cleared off now. You might recognize these steps from our vlogmas intro and outro. That was fun to do. Anyway, everything's looking pretty nice here. I, I forgot to mention part of the reason that we did all of the tree landscaping and chopping down some of the more dangerous trees and stuff is we actually live in Southern California where the fires were happening the last couple of years. So like 
The mountains behind me here were majorly on fire. We were watching one of the bigger fires from our living room and just hoping and praying that they weren't gonna reach us. And then another fire happened just on the other side of this mountain here, just on the other side. So it's really important for us and our safety as well as to help firefighters that might be coming through and to make sure that our landscape is, is done properly. Sorry, Luke's, Luke's got stuff to say about it. Make sure dangerous trees were, were taken out, especially since it was so windy, so rainy, so fiery the past couple years. We really didn't want to risk anything, so it was a lot of work. It was a big kind of life choice for our property, but the trees look way better, much more manageable, and the whole family feels a lot safer. And another really cool thing about doing all the landscaping, we've cleared up some space for some new trees. I think we might have some that go right here, and then also, along this area here. You can see there's one orange tree here. That was here when we got here, but we want fruit trees. We want trees where we can harvest and eat the things that grow off of those trees. So up here at the top of the hill, there's a few spots. There's a couple spots down near the bottom of the hill and uh, where that big tree that was in our front yard that was all dead, which is a super fire hazard if you have a dead tree. That's gone now and in its space, we wanna put some sort of fruit tree. So since we have all this space for these new trees, I'd love to hear your suggestions. What kind of fruit trees do you think are the best to have on a property? What, what do you think we should plant here at our house. We'll be checking the comment section when we go nursery shopping later. Parker made something really cool. It's to go on the Christmas tree. So what'd you do? You had a piece of thread and yeah. you threaded it through all of those? Uh-huh. <laughs> that looks like a lot of work. Yeah. Perfect addition to the Christmas tree. Love it. All right, it's still a little light outside and we're doing Advent, that never happens. Yeah. Let's start with mommy because daddy's wearing the baby and who knows how long the baby will last. Let's see if we can sneak a little peek. There he is. I think apricot, blueberry, raspberry, um, blackberry, um, strawberry, um, and then raspberry, and then, and then what's it called? And then, and then, what's it called? Um, no, I don't know. And then grape. Yes, grape. Yes, okay, I'm just saying. Wait, wait, wait. Could be. It gets me every time. Could very I'm well getting, be. I'm guessing, mango, Ooh. apricot, lemon, spread. Ooh, you added the lemon in there. That was a wild card. What do you think, Bailey? Apricot. And maybe mango? Maybe? Maybe. All right. Wait, do I get to guess? It's yes. It's obviously an ornament flavored. <laughs> this kind of looks like a cherry. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna go, I'm gonna say <clears throat> lavender honey. Oh my goodness, I hope so. <laughs> God, you're just wishing me good luck. Good I'm gonna luck. say apricot again until I get apricot. And if it you're ends gonna... up being the last day, I guess I'll always guess apricot. You're gonna be Stay disappointed if it's not lavender honey. What is it? <laughs> is it strawberry? Well, held strawberry. No, it's, not. it's three citrus fruits spread. No specifications. <laughs> no, it does have a specification in there, but I think it's very funny because considering how the kids are guessing, they're just like a bunch of fruit. Wait, no, I said, said I said I said I had three fruits. You did. Jacob had three, and I think oh, what what I think one of them is lemon. But let me check. Let me see. Good setting it up, Duncan. That looks very nice. Ooh. Orange, lemon, and grapefruit. You definitely got lemon. And it is a spread, so you got that as well. Oh, you want me to take a look at it? Yes, the director oh, telling right. you how oh, to do good. it. Looks good, looks good. What do you think? Good. Good, okay, yeah, we're good. Thank you, all right. I'll... It's gonna be Duncan's turn. Duncan's turn? It's gonna be Minnie Mouse. It's gonna be Minnie Mouse? Yes. You're opening number 12 today. Oh, no, I that's 17. It. It's this very big one up here, Duncan. Ooh, a big box. I need a sticker. Yeah, I he just got so Didn't he just miss Wait, a yesterday? box, an empty box. Let me make sure he doesn't open all the boxes. Let's yeah, go. either an empty Ooh, box or a nice. sticker. Ooh, <gasps> nice. It's Goofy. <gasps> What'd you get? Goofy. What does Goofy say? Oh, <laughs> 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 He's got the laugh down. He does have a red hat. I like it. 
Do you have a red hat? I don't have a red hat. No, you don't have a red hat. Do you want to know what trick to have in the red hat? <laughs> now you have a red hat. That's goofy. <laughs> you know one thing I want to do? <coughs> what? I want to go to Disneyland again. Same. Oh. Oh. Casual Disneyland? When when do you want to do that? Two more days. In two days, three, four days, four days. Four days. Oh. He wants to go to Disneyland for his birthday. That's not in four days. But that would be fun. It's four days. Four days. That's creepy Santa. Yeah. That is creepy Santa. There he is, watching what? over all the advent proceedings. <laughs> Does anybody have a guess for I Bailey's think it's advent? Cedric or Bagman? Or Ron or Hermione? Okay, what do you think? Me! Okay. Bailey! 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 Then I guess that. No. <laughs> that was book two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Not even. No, this is no, book no, four no, specific. No, like really? No. This no, whole no, advent no, calendar no. is just book four. Seems like that so far. All right. Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> no, Dobby, Dobby, Dobby. Dobby, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. I was right. It's two. I feel like Bailey saw this on Amazon and memorized it. Did you memorize it? I didn't. It's hot sauce time. Wow. I think it's gonna be a dark purple hot sauce. I think it's gonna be a very, very dark purple. Oh, it's Baby. another green. This one is <laughs> Serrano Claus. Oh, it, the full title is The Year Without Serrano Claus. A sauce that packs a delicious spicy kick. This sauce gives a crisp flavor with a bold richness to dishes of many different kinds. One of Santa's personal favorites. Ready to smell it? Yeah. Ooh, smells good. Ooh, not spicy. Wait. Wanna try? <coughs> no. Smell good? No. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah, it smells really yeah, good. Yeah, I would it? definitely. I, I might mix it with a red sauce. Oh, like that's my style. Oh. I like to do a little mix. That's good. Jessica does like going to the salsa bar and like mixing up a bunch of different flavors, mainly a green and a red. <laughs> so this would be a green a of choice. And I do like a green, red, Cholula, lime. I'm really easy like. What does green and red make? Delicious. Mmm. I like that. That smells like lime and then like pepperoni at the same time. I'm gonna try it. Nice. For a pretzel. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ran out of crackers, so we're doing a little improvising. That smells delicious. <laughs> mm-hmm. Good flavor. Does it go well with the pretzel or what? It does. It would go better with like a tortilla chip. Oh. Yeah. We have tortilla chips. Like, well, that would have been a better choice. <laughs> Why haven't we been doing tortilla chips this entire time? I don't know. You set this up, dude. I'm usually nursing a baby. It's a little spicy, not too spicy, really flavorful. Like, really has that, like, peppery taste. Yeah. And Jake's gonna use a piece of bread because he just got his braces adjusted. A little softer on his teethies. Can't really taste it. Let me put a little bit more. Okay. Oh my goodness. You're gonna taste that. Don't spill it on my blanket. Oh. oh, yeah. Is it good? That is really hot because I put in so much. <laughs> yeah, you did. Would you dare me to take this bite? Yes, I want you to eat there it all. You. I don't want you to waste it. <laughs> <laughs> How's the flavor? Sorry, I, all I can think about right now is spice. <laughs> <laughs> Did it cure the pain from your your tooth work today? It definitely makes it worse. Oh, I thought maybe like didn't you distract you. Be able to feel well, the braces. I can't feel them anymore. That's excellent. Great news. But it's like. <laughs> but you can't feel your tongue either. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Mm. It's like. Yeah, I know what you're saying. So this is spice <laughs> and this is not spice. It's like. It's like. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay. Full experience. I like it. You like it? Would you put it on eggs? Would you put it on tortilla chips? Would you put it on ice cream? <laughs> Just to get the ice cream? Oh, oh. oh for the flavor. What is it? I'm guessing a sensible jacket. What about Jacob? Jewelry. What do you think? Jacob would wear. Whoa! It was a necklace. Too. I wonder if it would um fix and fit in that box. Are you trying to break his toys? What do you think? Something's gotta fit in there, right? Does it fit? Maybe. Maybe nothing's gonna fit in the box. Yeah. <laughs> you can put it in one of Duncan's boxes. They're real empty. <laughs> When we do a white elephant, we should a uh, white elephant with <laughs> empty boxes. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wish you hadn't said that, but yes. I don't care that everybody knows that is 100% what we're doing. All of us. Just being <laughs> so don't pick any of our gifts. Don't pick our gifts. You know what they are. Now how about we bring boxes from all of us except for one of our presents is $100. <gasps> yes! Do it! Jacob changed the locations because Bailey kept sneaking a peek. He's usually there. But now he's here. I think we might get a peek of what's happening here. So I'm going to turn off the camera until you're done. The, this was a quick one. I, I barely turned the camera off. That was really fast, Jacob. Wait, what did you guess? The Goblet of Fire. What did you guess? I would have said some more food for that table. More food? Oh, no. More food for that table. Parker, what do you guess? I guess it's the fireplace, Hermione, or some pumpkins. What is it, Jake? <laughs> the Goblet of Fire. The yeah. Goblet of Butterbeer? Oh! Whoa, yeah, ah, oh no, oh no. There went the whole bill. <laughs> it's taking you longer to set it onto the thing. Ooh, a croissant? Is that a croissant? That's totally a croissant. And oh a pie. God, this is like dessert. And another goblet of fire. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, what do you think? 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 Jacob, what do